with ya I go toe to toe with ya I go toe to toe with ya All right. Here is a look at Billy Badass Fletcher. Wow, this is a very focused young man. He has vowed that he's going to enjoy every moment of this experience as he sets out on the quest to display total dominance in his performance live from Cheyenne. Yeah, he's absolutely happy to be here tonight. I spoke to him yesterday. He is just happy to be here. He loves to fight. He says this is his moment and this is his arena in which he can showcase his skills. Yes. He said the same thing to me. He's ready to fight. He's a striker. He's ready to knock somebody out. He, I guess he did well in Thailand and he's coming here to, to show the fans that he is, he is the man. You know, this gentleman here, he's, he, he's from the hometown of Park Rapids, Minnesota. He works as a construction worker. And he says that he's built for the battle and he's focused on the decimation of his opponent. Those are some strong words. <laughs> you know, this guy, uh, he's out to definitely prove a point at the expense of his opponent tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, he promises non-stop excitement as only BYB can provide. I'm excited to see this young man in action. Me too, I'm, I'm very excited. His coach said he is a dominant fighter. He can fight and, he, and he's, he's gonna prove tonight that he is the best guy in the division. Now this fight was actually not supposed to happen. It was made last minute where he now is fighting Albert Martinez, but he was supposed to fight another guy, but he says he's happy to be fighting Albert Martinez because he respects Spanish fighters. He says he's an Irish fighter, but he respects Spanish fighters because they're so tough. And his opponent has promised also to go on and bring some of the best bare knuckle brawl in action that any member of this fraternity can produce. This might be one of those fights, ladies and gentlemen, that you might not want to blink. Well, it's the, it's the one getting it started, so maybe they can set the pace for the rest of the night. And now, ready to make his way to the Trigon from the red corner, Albert. Speedy Martinez! Go ahead, baby, let's go! Albert Speedy Martinez, hometown Valdosta, Georgia. He's training with American Top Team, coached by Cameron Neville. I spoke to Cameron Neville yesterday. Now, this is something that you can appreciate definitely, Chris. He said they have one rule. The number one rule is don't get hit. Oh. Everything follows off of that. The number one rule is don't get hit. So they're going into this fight to try not to get hit. He says he's going to use speed and angles to take care of his opponent. Well, he's Speedy Martinez. He better speedy use Martinez, speed. Speedy Martinez, that's right. And if he got defense with that, he'll give uh, some problems tonight to his opponent. Yes, he prides himself in his defense. And you know, the good thing about this guy, he has the heart of a lion. You know, I was speaking to him recently, and he was telling me about his problematic background coming up, and how he had to fight daily in the mean streets of his hometown. And that just prepared him for any adversity, he said, that life could possibly bring him. He says the real challenge in everything is life. Getting in the Trigon, he said, is something that he definitely looks forward to. I, I roll back with him. I, I roll back with him from the airport to the hotel. And him and his coach was so confident in, in their ability and their training and saying that we're going to dominate whoever we fight. And tonight we're going to see if he's going to beat Billy. He's going to beat Billy Badass Fletcher. We'll, well I, see. I'm very familiar with this coach. I've watched his coach come up through, the, through the, uh, the ranks in Florida. He was an upset king. He would go into fights as the underdog and always upset the guy he fought. It's Coach Cameron Neville out of Valdosta, Georgia. Ladies and gentlemen, from the Cheyenne Ice and Events Center in beautiful Cheyenne, Wyoming, our first bout of the evening is brought to you by BYB Extreme Fighting Series and GetPureAndNatural.com. This bout scheduled for five three-minute rounds of bare-knuckle brawling in the bantamweight division. The three judges scoring at cage side, Janelle Mellish, Josh Johnson and Tom Milstead. 
Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, wearing the black trunks. He weighed in at 146 pounds. An international Muay Thai champion with 20 Muay Thai fights from Park Rapids, Minnesota. Here is Billy Bass. His opponent fighting out of the red corner, great spirit. wearing the black trunks with the silver trimmed with greatness. He is weighing in at 143.8 pounds. His professional record as an MMA fighter, five wins, two losses. A three-time U.S. Army champion, unbeaten for seven years with more than 20 knockouts. From Valdosta, Georgia, here is Albert Speedy Martinez. Referee David Braslow will now give instructions. All right, gentlemen, come to center. All right, guys, you're given the rules in the dressing room. Protect yourself at all times, obey my commands at all times. Such them up, good luck. Time to get started, gentlemen. Ladies and gentlemen, live from Cheyenne. In inside the Trigon, we have Albert Martinez at 5'8", one inch, uh, time, one inch time, advantage over Billy, time, good. Billy Badass. Bo Albert Martinez weighed 143 pounds. Albert Billy Badass, 146 pounds. Two inch reach advantage for Albert Martinez, and he has a two year, a two -year age advantage. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, right, this bout promises right to here. be exciting. Right you guys ready? All right, let's roll. And wow, the action starts off already. Fast and furious, ladies and gentlemen. These gentlemen are trying to impose their will. Wow. Wow. Lefty versus righty. These guys are connecting at a rapid pace. Don't hit him on the ground. Your hands. Martinez trips on the cage. Referee brings him back up. He's Both of these fast starts. Going right at it. Both of these. Wow! Well, and wait a minute, ladies and gentlemen. Robert Fletcher is bringing the fight, bringing it to him. Speedy Martinez uses his leg. Direct punch. I don't know how much more one of these guys can take at these shots. Wow. Oh, these gentlemen feeling the power. Clean uh -huh. shot. Right down the pipe, the left hand from Speedy Martinez. Oh, now he throws him down. Ladies and gentlemen, these guys are bringing the best of bare knuckle brawling action. Punch after punch. Look at the heart of these guys. Whoa. Wow. Look at the sheer determination. Speedy Martinez, all right, they're going to turn them. And this round is only halfway over. If there are four more rounds of this. Who's mouthpiece? Who's mouthpiece? Yes. Go over there. Fletcher's bleeding now with the right, nose. Guys, mouthpiece. Both of these guys Hurry. on a mission to impose their will. There you see Billy Badass Fletcher. Ready? Time in. Bleeding. Both of these guys have drawn blood from their opponent. Wow! Oh. Great back and forth action. I mean, it's going right. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the type of action that the back now is fighting for. Wow, what a punch! Go that corner. One. What a punch! Both of these fighters are showing the wear already. Martinez has a cut over his left eye. Will he be able to continue? Will he get his faculties together? Will he be able to weather this storm? Wow, and there you have another punch! The speed of Martinez is starting to show it. Starting to show itself. He's hurt. And I think Seven. the I think the left hand. Eight. I think the left hand. He's hurt. And it's all over. All over. Oh, Victor, it's all over. It. Albert Martinez knocks out Billy wow. Badass Fletcher. Wow. What a display of punching power. The streak continues.
Both of those guys displayed great heart. Wow. Ladies and gentlemen, if this is any indication of the action to come, wow, what a night we're going to have here in Cheyenne. This is awesome. It's awesome. I think every fight is going to be like this in the close quarters and how they're throwing. I think every fight will be exciting and maybe a TKO or a knockout. And despite the close quarters, I thought Alba Martinez did a good job of using his of, of his legs in order to escape some of them spots. Okay. Let's take a let's take well, a look at some of this. Oh, straight he, can, can, straight the, left, left hand. As he slides off to the side, knocks Fletcher down. Wow. There it is again. That wow. straight left as he slid off to his right side, created the angle, caught him with the straight left, wow. and Fletcher could not take that shot. Ladies and gentlemen, Albert Speedy Martinez promised action. He promised a knockout. And ladies and gentlemen, did he deliver? This guy's a rising star, definitely one that needs to be watched. I'm excited to see this gentleman come yes. out again on another talk, event and display really the well, gifts man. that he has. This Great is the result man. of absolute training Great and dedication. And, and confidence. He was so confident in the corner. I was like, he was so loose before the fight, and he was ready to fight, winking at everybody. And you have to take your hat off to his opponent. Ladies and gentlemen, let's have a nice round of applause for both brawlers, please. Yeah. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, from the Cheyenne Ice and Events Center in Cheyenne, Wyoming, your referee, David Braslow, calls a halt to the bout at 2 minutes, 23 seconds of the first round. Your winner by TKO, Albert. Speedy Martinez. Wow, ladies and gentlemen, what heart displayed by both fighters. Yeah, both fighters definitely put it all out on the line. Yes, they did. I think Speedy Martinez, like you said, with his legs, like with his legs getting around and, and being left-handed, Coming straight ahead with uh, Fletcher coming straight ahead. He's getting hit with shots, especially that left hand. He's open for it, and he and he was open. Speedy Martinez was open for his right. Speedy Martinez, you came inside here and you lived up to your nickname, Speedy. Did you do everything that you intended to do in the fashion that you did it? Well, yeah, I did, but then I didn't because I didn't want to get hit, but. You know, because it's my money maker, man. I gotta keep it sexy, but man, it's a fight, dude. You know, you never know what happens. And, you know, he came out here to brawl. And we, when I noticed that he was in here for a brawl, I was like, all right, let's see who the bigger pit bull is. So we went ahead and put it all on the line, and turned out I got that punch. Listen, this is the first fight on the card, and I think that it lived up to the hype. Um, what do you have to say for the people out there and everybody else that's inside that division? Hey, uh, just, just better watch out, man, because we're going to be, we, get, we stay ready. I train all day, every day with my coach over here, Cameron DeVille. I thank him every time, man, because he stuck around with me and, you know, put up on my ass for a couple, actually almost 10, 10 years we've been doing this, man, and you know, I, can't, I can't get enough. I can't, can't explain how much I'm so grateful for that. And especially all my ATT family, I want to say hi to my friends and family out there and, uh, you know, thank all my sponsors. Of course, I want to do that because it's my TV time, man. I got to. You know what I mean? And uh, all glory to God, first of all. And thank all my sponsors. Uh, Chino Martinez out there with Martinez Farming. Thank you, sir. I love you. And uh, with Kaysen Painting, Alan Kaysen out there. Man, without all these people and Josh McVoy, you know, helping me out as well. And then we got a new product coming out. Uh, my homegirl's doing it. It's uh, Alex Sears. Great cologne line and stuff like that. I'm sorry that I was spitting all over you here. With all blood and shit. Hey, this is what we need though, you know. But uh, yeah, thank all of them for sponsoring me. And there's another thing I wanted to say, and I always said I'll say it every time I got my TV time. I want to dedicate this fight right here for my grandma. You know, she passed away about three years ago. And I always said, man, if I always got the TV time, I wanted to say it. And I dedicate this to her. And a matter of fact, matter of fact, you know, I'm dedicated to. This fight to everybody who's lost somebody in their life. No matter it's a family member or a close friend, it doesn't matter, man, because that shit's hard. It's hard to deal with that kind of stuff, man. And, 
you know, I'm going to go ahead and dedicate this for my grandma and to them and for all of us that go through that kind of stuff, man. May they fly high and God bless everybody and thank you guys for coming out. Hey, everybody, let's put a round of applause together again for Albert Speedy Martinez.